Good morning, Angels. Good morning, Good morning Charlie. Charlie. Great work, as always. The stone eye you found matches samples from the missing Easter Island statues. As for the tattoo Dylan found on the captain, it's the emblem of a group called Silent Winter. Silent Winter? It's an Alaska-based militia. Mercenaries in their spare time. You seem well-informed, Dylan. What? Okay, so I had a lapse in judgment. It was one date a long time ago. He's in prison now. They probably have first-hand information about the people we're after. I'm sure they'll tell us if we ask them nicely. Your goal is to capture the head of Silent Winter. He is the only one who knows the identity of the thief. Once we got him, how do we get out? Dog sled? ski do, Ice skates? Snowshoes? I plan to get away. Dylan, you head for the heliport and Caesar Chopper. That'll allow you to clear the zone quickly with your client. Careful, Angels. This is a paramilitary group you're dealing with. Don't worry, Charlie. We know how to handle privates. And sergeants. And generals. We'll be careful, Charlie. We promise. Those hitmen won't know what hit them. Bundle up, Angels. Head north and see if you can't ice this case. Thank <laughs> you. 
it to the two that climb as a leg.
teach you that crime doesn't pay. Crime doesn't pay. Yeah. <laughs> 
All clear, ladies, get a move on. Good morning, Charlie. Our new Alaskan friend gave us a full description of the man who supervised the theft of the statues. The address you found on the cargo ship led us to this Acapulco villa. And you won't believe who our mystery man is. The Thin Man. I guess he takes a licking. Sure, and keeps on ticking. The guy just won't stay dead. What do we need to do, Boz? Infiltrate the thin man's home and download his personal files onto the agency mainframe. How do we get at the files? Natalie, you'll have to gain access to the rooftops. You must reposition the satellite antenna in order to download the data. If you encounter the thin man, try to bring him back with you. Alive? No more than a few bruises. We want him fit to talk. That would be a first. He's sort of a man of few words. Look out for yourselves, angels. The thin man is a professional killer, and so are his men. Um, a tropical getaway with an old friend? What could be more fun? Gracias, angels. Find the thin man in Mexico and have him say adios to his computer files. <laughs> that crime doesn't pay.
the alarm. Here, ladies, get a move on.
Good. Not a soul. I'm going in.
I'm ready to transfer the data. Okay, Dylan, the antenna is repositioned.
Red Hot Data coming your way. Need a hand? We were just enjoying a chat. He's an excellent listener. Mind if I join you? Sure. I believe I've made my point. I think he has a crush on you, Dylan. He did smell my hair first. The only thing he smelled today was my boot connecting with his nose. Good, Good morning, morning Charlie. Charlie. Well done. Good work. While you were gone, I identified the cargo ship's owner. He goes by the name of Ed Foster. He's an industry magnate and owns a home in Scotland. Let me guess. We're going to pay him a visit. That's right, Dylan. We must now gather evidence of Foster's implication in this case. There must be documents regarding the thefts. If he's involved. Exactly. We know that Foster's quarters are located in the heart of the dungeon. That's where I suggest you look for him. Maybe Alex would like to take the lead on this one. I don't... Why am I the leader every time Black Leather and a Whip is involved? No reason. You're aware that we've had to bend over backwards to keep a lid on our insurance premiums? I'm counting on you. We promise, Bosley. But keep your checkbook handy. Just in case.
ever teach you that crime doesn't pay? Oh! 
special. Thank <laughs> you. 
Guys, I'm ready. Angels. Good, Good morning, morning, Charlie. Good news. We now know where the next theft is supposed to occur. Bosley will outline his plan. Our CIA contacts have informed us that Foster has been in close contact with General Cho, a highly placed official in the Chinese army. This same Cho is also supervising the surveillance of the Forbidden City, which has been sealed off to tourism since the theft began. Foster must have paid him well. How can a man pawn off his own country's heritage? Probably an offshore account. We must prevent the theft of the Emperor's throne, located in the heart of the Forbidden City. Even protected by local security personnel, our thieves will have to act fast. If Cho has the city locked down, we'll need to get in undetected. And get to the Emperor's throne before Foster does. Looks like dim sum is out of the question. Just once, I'd like to see more of a foreign country than its military bases, abandoned compounds, and dive bars. Come home safely, angels, and the fortune cookies are on me. If we had your address, Charlie, we could send you a postcard. Save the stamp, angels. Just find the Emperor's throne and finish off Foster.
How special. are deactivated. Thank you. 
can't ever teach you that crime doesn't pay. doesn't pay. Yeah. 
teach you that crime doesn't pay. Guys, I'm ready. Oh, <laughs> 